light field imaging has become an important part of the technologies that we use in creating cameras and uh, we need simulators to understand what the impacts are of signal to noise and different aspects of the whole light field system. In this tutorial I'm going to download a light field uh, that's really an optical image. It's a light incident at the sensor from the database. We've simulated this using physically based ray tracer. That's a topic of another tutorial. We uh, then create a sensor that's matched to the spatial characteristics of the light field the way uh, you would in a you build any sensor would be matched to the optics that you've created and then we'll manipulate the light field for uh, to illustrate how you can change the point of view and change the um, focal plane. So let's just uh, initialize I said and now we'll go and uh, download uh, the we'll go and download the a particular scene it's a bench light field it's a, a simple scene that was built with uh, uh, blender so we've now got the um, scene here inside of uh, an optical image we've downloaded it these are all the parameters of how we uh, rendered it as with PBRT so let's go have a look at this thing we'll first we'll have a look at it as an image it's a normal optical image and I said and there it is, and the light that's just about to be absorbed by the sensor is captured um, right over at, at each one of these places. So that the, uh, if you actually look at the irradiance and photons at some little region over there, uh, you can see that it's got irradiance in quanta per second per square meter per nanometer as a function of wavelength. So it's a full spectral image uh, of the light field. And if you want to have a look and you know. Is it in a table form of uh, what we've got? Well, we've got an optical image. This is how big it is, 1440 by 1440. It spans this many field, this many degrees of field of view. This is how many pinholes we had in the light field array, 160 by 160. And um, various other parameters are just illustrated here. So now let's go create a sensor. And uh, we create a sensor in the usual way and give it some exposure duration. and but we create it so that it's matched, the uh, pixels in the sensor are matched to the spatial sampling of the light field. So we've now gone, gone and created our sensor and we're going and computing how that light field would impact the sensor. And uh, here we have a picture of the sensor itself. It's got the same number of pixels as uh, the light field had sample points. Uh, and this is a normal RGB, a bare RGB sensor. Uh, and uh, everybody's got their electrons uh, captured in there, all the different properties. You can imagine when you're building a camera, you might ask yourself, uh, you know, what size should the pixels be? What should their noise properties be? And all that's uh, captured in here. So now we will take these sensor data and just image process them to create a full RGB image the way, uh, the way we we would just normally create an RGB image and now we've got an RGB image except it's the RGB image uh, that contains the light field data. So when you look at it up close uh, it doesn't really look like uh, an image that we'd want to show anybody but each one of these little images here is the image behind the um, pinholes so there's uh, about 160 by 160 pinholes and here are the RG here's the RGB images uh, behind, behind each one of those pinholes. Now is when the fun begins. We take the samples from this RGB image and we package them into a light field structure. So a light field structure uh, would have r really every um, value has got a r four parameters uh, that def define its position, in other words the two positions of the uh, array with respect to the two planes that define the light field and the values over there. So uh, I'm going to go make uh, these light fields here, just repacking the data. And now let's go make some pictures of the, uh, of the different images. The first one shows us just the, uh, this picture here shows us uh, if we take one pixel from every one of, of from, from each aperture and assemble it uh, into a uh, in, into a little mini image here. So this is you know, the corresponding pixel from every one of the 160 by 160 apertures. We get a picture uh, with this particular camera, this particular noise condition, and so forth. That would look 
like this. And you can see the ones in the middle look okay. They kind of look like the crummy version of the bench scene, but uh, they're the bench scene. The ones way over at the edge, the ones that you pick up, say, from the lower right uh, pixel or the upper left pixel, they look lousy because, in fact, through pinholes like this, that's uh, at angles like this, you, you get lousy data. So this kind of a simulation tells you that, you know, how many different images you get and what they would look like and what their noise characteristics would be. Uh, let's go run some calculations in which we um, look at the, just we zoom up and we look at the light field pictures at just uh, two different positions in some more detail. Those are a little hard to see and you can see again this is one where we've, uh, we're in focus for the near part of the bench and not such good focus for the other and this is kind of a noisy, uh, but this is kind of a noisy one. So now um, let's let's go uh, render these images um, for uh, different depth for different focal planes. So we we have a there is a parameter that's illustrated in the script that that we're running here that says whether we want to have a relatively near focus and blurry in the far or um, as we zoom forward here you can see that it's relatively sharp uh, for the on the far bench and uh, blurry on the near one as we sweep out this parameter. And what this parameter determines is basically which pixels are being combined from the different uh, pinholes behind the uh, from the different pinhole arrays. It's this parameter determines which which pixels are combined in order to make the uh, near bench in focus uh, kind of a compromise between the two or the far bench in focus. Uh, finally, just you want to each, you can also just mouse around with the um, uh, individual I images, just shifting around, and uh, you know, if you choose, choose them the right way, uh, you can go, you, uh, th this is each one of these images is showing a video a more densely sampled video from that full light field that I showed you before, uh, combining different pixels, you know, one pixel from each of the behind of the pinholes. And that's like you're looking at the original scene from slightly different points of view as you see the thing zooming around. And basically this is making me dizzy, so I'm stopping. It is, Ms. Joyce, making me dizzy, so I'm stopping.